I came all the way to Osaki to create a future where all resources circulate and where mining of additional fossil fuels is reduced. Osaki Town has achieved a recycling rate of more than 80%, which is the highest through Japan. In Osaki Town, waste is sorted into 27 different categories. Since there is no incineration plant, only these blue bags goes directly to the landfill without getting incinerated, and other 26 categories will be sorted and recycled properly. Of course, there are some waste that cannot be recycled properly without incineration. However, I think waste management should not be designed with an incineration plant included from the beginning. その、ゴミをもやすとか、そういった焼却炉というのをもともと持たない町でありますので、またこれからも焼却炉を作るとか持つとか、そういったことは全く考えていない町でありますので、ずっとそのゴミの分別を続けていく、そんな感じの町なん
a small island Tuvalu in the South Pacific. There I experienced a life very close to nature and community. I went back to Tuvalu when I was in high school and realized that the country is suffering from the rising sea levels and extreme drought due to climate change. And I cannot express such a feeling when I knew that my hometown and my old playground will disappear in the near future. One day, your hometown and even this Osaki town may become a habitable place. I myself don't want to experience such an unhappy future. Nor do I want my children or the generations after to experience that. The pine forest spreading by the leech of Osaki town is a vast windbreak with a total length of 24 kilometers. Hundreds of years ago, our ancestors planted these trees to protect the town from heavy winds and sands from the ocean. But they did this for the future generation rather than for themselves because they knew that the trees would take hundreds of years to grow. And now I feel like it is my turn and I came here to create a circular economy that leads to mitigation of climate change for the future generations. Mm -hmm.